in this one i'm going to be showing you how to transfer vertex widths from one mesh to another we are going to be using the data transfer modifier and i'll be transferring from the body to the clothes hello everyone my name is jay mundat welcome to my youtube channel i have this character i created her name is mary and let me show you the process i normally take when i'm creating characters in blender I always start with the blocking and I do it at a large scale. So this is this was the result of the block out. And then I moved to sculpting. This is the result of the sculpting. And then the topology. And after the topology I project the details from the sculpt to the, the topologized mesh and then after this I scaled the color to the right height and also made some simple clothes the character is also rigged I haven't rigged the vest and the shoes and that is what we are going to be doing in this video let me quickly mention that um, uh, I'm using Blender version 4 but what we are going to be doing can be done in any version from 2.8 I believe I also have the skin cast key on you can see the keys I'm placing and also I have uh, in the Blender properties I have the simplify enabled and the viewport sub, sub d are at zero and what that does it, it it turns off all the subdivision modifier on the, on all the meshes also in the rig right now it's in rest position i had posed this character beforehand so when i go to pose position you see the character is in a pose this will uh, help us visualize the the work we are going to be doing for now i will i will read the vest first with automatic weights so that we can see the difference when we use the data transfer method so i select the vest then i shift select the rig then with control p I set parent with automatic width and now when I go to the pose position you see the vest have been skinned to the rig and it's moving with the character but you can see the body the body is creeping through the vest and uh, we can collect this using weight painting but I was when I was trying to figure out a better way to do this I realized I can use the data transfer modifier now let's do that now also let me show you how you you can unparent a, a rigged mesh first you select the mesh then select the rig with shift then alt p clear parent and also go to the vertex data vertex groups click this arrow and delete all groups and you see the mesh have been unparented so to use the data transfer modifier what we are going to do is select select the mesh again shift select the rig and then control p but this time we are going to set parent to be empty groups and then I go to the modifier you see when we parented it added the armature modifier let me put it on top but because I did it with empty groups if I go to the pose position you see it's not moving with the body now to transfer weights onto these empty groups I'm going to select the vest then go to the modifier button add modifier go to edit 
data transfer. Now with this data transfer modifier, I'm going to click that dropper to select the source. The source is going to be the body. And then we are going to be transferring vertex data. Then vertex group vertex groups then here on mapping we are going to select dearest face interpolated and now when I go to the pose position uh, nothing happens <laughs> the reason for that we go back to the rest position the reason for that is because this data transfer modifier supposed to be on top of everything now when I go to the pose position again it moves but it's not looking correct let us correct that right now if I select the rest again what we are supposed to do is now since we have transferred the data now we need to apply this modifier we can do this by clicking this arrow here and go to apply or you can use the shortcut control a when you are when your mouse is on the modifier just hit control a the modifier have been applied and when i go to pose position you can see it's not even clipping the body is not clipping the loop and this is the best way i found to transfer weights if you like this content subscribe it will help grow this channel and if you're already a subscriber i take this opportunity to thank you for your support and now let's move on to the shoes for the shoes there are three different meshes there is the shoe the laces and these rings also when I look at the body mesh, I have a mask modifier. This mask is masking the part of the feet that is penetrating with the shoe. But for me to transfer the weights from this body to the shoes, I have to disable it because the data transfer modifier we need the information on this feed to transfer it to the shoes. Let's do the same thing we did on the vest. I select the shoe. Shift select the rig. Control P. With empty groups. Then go to the shoe. Then add the data transfer modifier. Put it above everything else, then select the source, which is the body, change it to vertex, enable the vertex data, vertex group, and mapping nearest face interpolated, then apply the modifier.
have done it on on the on this side of the shoe let's go to the pose position and see how it's looking there you it's working well let me quickly work on the other one Now it's all done. I will select the rig, pose position. Let me enable the mask modifier. Also disable the simplify. And you can see how the Data transfer modifier did a good job. The vest is working well. You can see the shoes. Anyway, guys, that is for this video. If you have watched all the way to the end, thank you very much for your time. And also remember to subscribe. See you in the next one.